Hey guys, Thrasher here. We have a brand new banner with some brand new characters. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so if we go to menu and then go to news, we see that there is new news about the Legend Step Up banner and it's coming soon. Chances are it's coming tomorrow. We're getting maintenance tonight, so I would um, expect it to be tomorrow. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Now, with that being said, there's two new characters that we know for sure. There is the Sparking Hercule, he's red, and there is the Sparking Demon King Piccolo, who is yellow. One thing to note before I talk about these actual characters is this is called a Legend Step Up banner. Now, I don't know if they're just saying Legend Step Up, like, you know, get into the fight, whatever, or if this is an actual step up banner. The way step up banners work is that you're incentivized to continue doing consecutive summons. I assume that's the case. It'll be a little bit different if it is a true step up banner than um, the silver bells that we got before. You should be getting actual characters as you go through the step up banner and you go through the different steps. Now if that's the case, that does scare me a little bit. What that tells me is these units are probably not the best units in the game. If they were the best units, um, the units themselves would be the draw. You wouldn't need it to be a step up banner. That doesn't mean they're going to be bad units. Units. They could still be top tier or close to top tier. They just won't be absolutely broken units that you have to have. Now, as far as these two units themselves, let's talk about them real quick. It looks like Hercule is going to be a melee based red unit who can reduce the substitution timer of the other units on your team, um, their ability to quickly get back into combat by using his special move, which is Dynamite Kick. That's cool. Um, one of the issues that some people have brought up is 50 key just to reduce the substitution counter of other team members seems pretty high, although we don't know for a fact that it's going to be 50. Normally, the blue move for most characters is 50, but it's very possible that they reduce it and they make this much more viable. We'll see where that goes. Now, the next thing is Demon King Piccolo. Uses powerful ability to reduce the opponent's number of Dragon Balls and increase your own. He's a wily character who can use Strike Arts cards to inflict the opponent with poison. So we have a poison mechanic. There's already a bleed mechanic in the game. We know that Super Saiyan Trunks, the red one, can use his ultimate move to force a bleed on the opponent. Um, I think poison is going to be the same way. It's going to do a small amount of damage over time until you remove the unit from combat and put them on the bench. The other thing to note here is his ability to take Dragon Balls. Um, it says he has a powerful ability. Chances are that means it's his main ability, although it's possible it could be a green card, it could be anything else. The way it's worded, um, and just how powerful it would be if it wasn't anything else, makes me believe that this is definitely going to be a main ability. Which says to me that this unit is a unit that you want to get your Rising Rush as fast as you possibly can. Either use him or some high key restore character. Get your Rising Rush, switch to this guy Rising Rush with him. As you Rising Rush, you're going to hit the opponent, possibly kill them. As soon as the Rising Rush is over, you use his main ability to steal all of their Dragon Balls, possibly their whole Rising Rush, so that way you get two and they get none. Seems like an immensely powerful ability, and since he's probably going to be on the regeneration tag, you now have your third true good unit for the regeneration tag, assuming that his stats are reasonable. So you now have uh, Perfect Cell, Kami fused with Piccolo, and this Demon King Piccolo. There's your full combat team for regeneration. And beyond that, we know that the Majin Saga is going to bring our Majin Buu's and our other regeneration characters in the very near future. So regeneration is going to get very powerful, which means that out of these two units, in my opinion, from what I've seen so far, it looks like Demon King Piccolo is, is probably the prize here. So we'll see where that goes. It will probably come out tomorrow, and if it does, I will make sure to get a full review out for it as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you guys think I missed anything, if you think I'm wrong on anything, throw it down in the comments and let's talk about it. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.